Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this horde base, which can comfortably fit 1 to 6 survivors. It was inspired by two separate base designs, which I will post links for in the description, and it has some innovative features which I wanted to share with you. Alright, well I hope you enjoy, and let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by finding a location we want to build this, and then placing 7x7 seven seven frames. So one, two, Seven and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I always like to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to start picking up the frames and digging the perimeter. Okay, so this section here is basically going to be the basement uh, where we're going to have our power and on Horde Night I usually like to keep, I, I don't really do a combo base, so I like to keep my main base and my Horde base separate uh, to each their own by all means, but um, it will have enough room down there for a few bed rolls. Okay, so we've dug just one block down so far. I'm going to go ahead and dig this entire pit out uh, until it's five down and I'll come right back and we'll start placing blocks. Okay, so we have our pit dug here and I will show you we have one, two, three, four, and five. So we are five down. So that's going to be the basement of our base and once this is all built up we're going to uh, actually build the supports leading into the main structure. So I'll go ahead and just start placing down concrete blocks. And I usually like to leave it at the middle just so I can place the land claim block. And then this way if I uh, mess up placing any of the traps it's easier to pick them up. Perfect, okay, and once again, land claim in the center, and what I'll do is I will just start building up the walls going all the way around, and then I'm going to make it flush with the ground, and that will be the basement completed for now. I'm just going to skip ahead and actually probably speed this up for you all, and we'll get this built fast here. Okay, so that is done. I just want to make sure I got that dead center. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Perfect. Okay, so that is the basement, and this will also be the access. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and place those ladders there right now. Also place a hatch just so I don't constantly fall down here. Oops, I have it the right way. Cool. 
Awesome. So that will be the way into the basement and also a place for the bed rolls and generator. Um, next we'll build the supports and what I am going to do is use the, um, well I'm going to use a grouping of four poles and I'm going to make them, I'm going to start off in the corner. Um, make sure you have this oriented correctly because it's basically just going to go four high and we're going to group them four together. So there's not just one block for zombies to attack. So we have one, two, uh, here. one, two, three, four. Perfect. So that will give you an idea. Um, when we actually place the other blocks, they're going to go uh, actually the corner on this inside one here. So what I'll do, just, just to mark it up, because these are actually going to stretch up. You know what? I might as well place those. Um, it'll go another four high. So one, two, four. Cool. And basically, that will be the supports going all the way around. So once again, I'm going to speed up the video now and just get the rest of these guys laid out here. Okay, perfect. So all of the supports are in place. I'm going to go ahead and start building the body of the main structure. And if you've seen the other tower video, it um, is just the 7M cubes. Oh, let's see. What am I filtering? Okay, get rid of the filter. Type in 7M in the search filter. And I have, I'm going to assign um, each of these five blocks to uh, a block down my tool belt. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have all of these shapes selected. Now for the last one here, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and select uh, not three quarter, actually simple. Yeah, I'm just going to use a half cube. Um, I think there was a better block I actually used before, but I'm going to start, uh, start off with that and then go from there. Okay. And once again, these are these guys are starting on this inner block here. That's why I decided to put these guys in first, uh, just to show you where these ones should be resting. Okay, so I'm just selecting each from the tool belt. Now, this one actually will not go here on this side. I'm going to use the half block. I'm going to go and select advanced. And I'm going to place it just like that. Now, when my arrow slit is in place, that's going to give a little pocket that we won't be able to fall down, but we'll be able to see down and actually repair the blade trap and throw grenades in. So I'll just finish up building this side. Perfect. So you're only going to use the half block on the sides with the actual entrances with the, uh, with the ramps. Uh, basically, your fighting positions for when... Um, Horde Knight hits and uh, they're coming up those ramps to that entrance. Okay. And once again, instead of using the normal center block that we had selected, I'm going to use this half block. Okay, perfect. So going to get rid of the half block now. Just select a full cube. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill this in except for the center. And that will be our entrance. Okay. 
And from this point, I can actually just go ahead and place uh, basically a layer of all the blocks um, except for the position where the half block is. All the way around. So I'll stay here, okay. Um, now, I, these ones always mess me up, so I'm actually just going to press and hold while looking at this block and go to copy rotation just to make sure. Sometimes I have a hard time seeing where this one's actually lined up. Okay. Once again, any of the ones with the half blocks, we're just going to leave open. Once again, I am going to copy rotation to make sure I get it the right way. Okay, so that is the start of our base. Um, and yeah, it will go four high, so it's basically going to go to this guy here. Um, actually, I may have messed that up. I might need one more there. That's okay. We'll place that in a moment. <clears throat> So for this placement, um, I'm just the right block here. I want to be looking actually here. This always screws me up. Okay. So one, two, three, and I like to go four high. Okay. So yeah, this should be one higher, but I'll place that after. Okay. Now this guy here. Let's see. That'll make it a little bit more evident. Okay. And there we have the entrance. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side in a moment. Now for the side windows here, we're going to leave a space for the actual windows. So we want it here and here. And on the other side, we want that window. It's so there and there. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, this pole was supposed to go one more, uh, just, just one higher. Okay, and to make this easier, I am going to rotate. Perfect. So we got one, two, three, four. This time these corners will actually be filled in. Oops. Because I'm just staggering the windows. Perfect, there we go. So those are the two walls that I'm now going to replicate. So as you can see, the windows are staggered, and that will give us our fighting position. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this and finish up these two walls here, and I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so I did mess up one thing. I forgot that this is actually supposed to be open. So um, Basically what I've done is I've just removed these two blocks in the center here that make up the doorway. And what I have been doing recently is actually placing a ramp on either side. And the reason for that, um, you know what, I'm actually just going to show you right now by building it. So basically this is where the electric fence posts will be that are going to zap the zombies as they come close to whatever entranceway they're trying to get into. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go to shape, I'm going to select arch, three, oops, take off that filter, uh, arch 3M corner, and I'm going to go ahead and just stick this guy right here, then I'm going to change these over to some plates, um, what did I just do here, okay, just got a basic shape, there you are, plate. Go to advanced. Okay, and then one, two this way. Flip it around. One, two this way. And then uh, what I need as well is also trim. So I'll take that off. And actually, it's window trim. Yeah, perfect. So window trim. This guy here, I'll probably have to put on advanced to get it the same uh, kind of configuration like that. 
jetzt. Jetzt. Come on. Not quite. There we go. Oh, that guy's actually wrong. Sorry. I'm all for symmetry here. I know, I'm just being picky. Okay. So, <laughs> there we go there. Um, one more plate. I want to flip it this way. Perfect. And I also want one right in between these guys here. Sticking out. Okay. Perfect. So, there we go there. So, <clears throat> when you're inside, this is actually where the electric fence post is going to be. And when you're inside if anything actually happens to it you can you can actually still see up here and repair it from this position here so that's why i have put these ramps in place it's, it's just easier to jump and kind of see um and check with your repair tool whatever you're using it on horde night so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and then i will get started on the roof you can also see here i just added those extra poles in every corner as well so starting to tape, take shape here um, so I'm just gonna cut this real quick build it on the other side and then I will come back and we'll finish up the inside and the roof okay perfect so I have both of those little spots that are jutting out now and what this will also do not only will it um, keep the electric wire uh, like the, the electric fence post safe uh, because we will be capping that off and that'll be the end like this will be the spot where inside we can actually repair and uh, wire it up so um, it'll keep that protected but also as an added benefit which you'll see later is it prevents the zombies from stacking on top of each other and, and jumping up it's easier to get headshots this way this will all become evident later Okay, so one thing I like to do is also beef up this wall here. And that's how I can play some hatches later, which I will show you in a few. Okay. And so I'm just going to go ahead and select shape. Get that, and I'm just going to place a normal cube. I'm going to leave a gap right there for some ladders on either side. Oops. Okay. And a plate will actually go in this spot here. And here as well. Cool. And now for these guys, what I'm doing is flipping these and placing them along this way here. It, that's okay. Because I didn't want that guy there. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Let's just break. I wanted two plates like so. Okay. Just because there's going to be a, a, a wire relay right here, so I didn't want that getting in the way. Okay. some ladders here. Okay, and what I will do is fill in this little middle section here with some, um, actually let's just grab them right now, some iron bars. like that so not the uh, centered bars but just regular iron bars so these guys here and I will go to advanced and the whole purpose of that is so 
we can actually shoot vultures that might be circling our head on Horde Night. So basically, if some are trying to get in, it's just kind of easier to look up and shoot them from this position here. Okay, and what I will do is finish up the inside here. Now, it's probably a little controversial. I'm, s I'm sure other people have their preferred blocks. Um, I like to use the arrow slit, and the reason for that is because it's, it's easy for me to see down. I'm not sinking into this little hole, so if I need to move out of the way quickly, easy to do. Uh, once again, this half block here, there might be a better block, so you don't have to move as far forward to repair the blade trap that will be below. Um, but it works. It, it, it's perfect still for throwing grenades. Um, you can still throw grenades with ease down this little spot, and then take a look and repair that blade trap. So I'm going to place one there. One there. I'm also going to use for the top the quarter arrow slit. Oops, needs to be advanced. I think it'll probably position to the other side first, yeah. Okay. There we go there. And there we go there. So this is too small for any zombies to actually crawl through um, with that new crawl mechanic. They will basically just be standing here trying to swipe these guys but any of the zombies that will be f like uh, as far forward will just be constantly getting zapped and stunned by that electric fence post so they won't be going anywhere so it's easy just to line up and boom headshot from right from here uh, you could even duck down and you know if you're using melee weapons hit them in the body with it it's not as easy uh, but to get a headshot because you probably will be heading this block quite a bit um, so once again, you know, you may have a different um, preferred block for this top one, but I definitely recommend putting something here um, that'll kind of close up this spot here without completely closing it off. Okay, and other than that, I like to also use these guys right here, these hatches. Um, I find the vault ones are a little too clunky and they kind of get in my way and these do the job. They open much faster and I find I don't get stuck on them as easy. So I'm going to put them in position, let's see here, okay, and so that is, basically you can tell by where the little, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, oops, I should really fill that in. Um, where the little black hatch pieces are. That'll, I know these ones are really, sometimes, you know, when I'm building these, I'll just build the wooden ones and upgrade them. Um, but since I'm using, you know, uh, cheats to get all the blocks early on, it's easy if I mess up. But as you can see here, these, these guys are kind of awkwardly sticking out. That tells you, um, that it's open it's going to open down towards me. So here, I'll show you. I'll place that guy there. And voila. And it's all just based on that kind of lip when you're placing it. Okay. And I'll do the same on the other side here, which I think originally I already had them in that position. So I should have just done this one first. Boom, just like that. And that should be, yeah, perfect. Cool. So there we go. I usually have this top one open, and if I don't need to repair anything, I'll have this one closed as a bumper to keep me safe, so I'm not going into melee range of the zombies. Okay, perfect. And last thing, I will place the windows, and then I'll do the vault doors on the top. And also a guardrail. So um, I am going to actually unselect this. I'm going to go to catwalk. And it's these 5M round catwalks, uh, cube 5M round catwalks that I'm after. So I'll just select, uh, there's five of them. So I'm just going to select all five because I will be using these middle ones on the top. Not in for the windows, but you will see that in a moment as well. So. There we are there. Just gotta 
here. Okay, so I've selected all five, and what I will do is place these guys. Oh, look at that. That's supposed to be open. Okay. Apparently I'm tired. Okay, so that is all of our windows in place. And that will prevent uh, vultures from flying in. And I'm going to go on top here. I'm also going to place these hatches. Up top here, I just prefer them. And I always like to point my hatches away from my ladder. Um, I just find it's easier for getting up. Cool. Okay, and now these guys here, I'm just going to place these as guardrails because so, so many times have me or friends ran up a ladder and broken legs by falling off the other side. So, there we go little bit of protection. Whoops. Okay, so that is now the roof complete as well. Everything is golden here. And what I shall do is just to take a quick fly around, just show you everything here so far. Um, I know in the original tower, and I am totally going to copy this, actually. It just looks really cool. Um, so if I type in arch... Where are you? Yeah. Window arch trim. I'm just going to put that on both sides and the window trim as well. It might add a little bit of extra protection. I'm not entirely sure if it really does, but it looks nice anyways. Window trim here. Okay, and probably have to do advance to get that in the right position. There we go. Same on the other side. Oh, I just had it, didn't I? I always hate it when that happens. You're rotating it, and you expect it to be much further. There we go. Okay, perfect. So, there we go. I'm just going to adjust the time here. Let's bring this... Let's give ourselves a little bit more daylight. Perfect. So that is taking shape. Now we just need the ramps. Um, and I will have ramps on either side. So Looking beautiful. All right. So I'm just going to take a quick break here. I'll be right back and I'll start framing those in. Okay, so I'm back from a little break, and I'm going to get started on the ramps. So, from here, what I want to do is grab some frames. And from the corner, I'm going to build 13 out. So, one, two. Thirteen. And I'm just going to keep it in line, of course, on this side as well. Okay, so I have 13 there as well. So, um, okay, just <laughs> always like to double check. And from here, what I'll do is. I'm going to place, uh, well, frame in my stairs basically as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this will be where my stairs are going to go. So I'm actually just going to place them all right here, just too high to signify that that is where my stairs will be. And on the other side here as well. So I should have six in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay, so 
what I'm going to do is actually just pick up the outside frames and just dig down the perimeter. And we're going to place blocks in those spots. to select regular cubes, get rid of that filter of course, and I'm also going to select ramps, do, do, do. there we go, and I want inside corner ramps as well, yeah, inside corner full, okay, so first off for the perimeter, I'm just going to start placing these guys all the way around. I mean, it might be a little overkill with some of these blocks here, but I mean, you might not even want to place uh, any of these guys. It's just I like to throw grenades down, and that could blow a hole in the ground, and I don't really want to do that, so they start digging into the base. So, um, inside quarter ramp here, here, and I'll start placing some ramps as well here. Perfect, and I'm going to start digging this out a little bit as well. Okay, and I shall also start placing ramps on these sides here. Inside corner. Perfect, so. Okay, and then I shall dig one more down here. I'm going to place it inside corner ramps. ramps. Cool. So when my zombies fall down, I can chuck grenades and generally they kind of, as they fall, they kind of congregate in this spot here. So it's easier for them to be grouped and easier for the grenade to actually get a majority of them. All right. So that is all placed. I'm going to go ahead and just fill in this spot with some regular concrete blocks as well. Oops. A little bit a little too far on that side. I'm just gonna throw a frame down there, who cares? I have faith that this spot won't really be attacked, so perfect. Okay, so there we are. That's taken shape. And now what I shall do is start building the actual stairs. So we're going to go five high. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four. Two, three, two, one. That will be a stair as well. I mean, you could use ramps, you could just have it as the um, blocks as they are, but I prefer to put stairs personally. Okay, perfect. And from this point, I'm going to actually select plates. Um, 
I don't know why I always try to find it that way. I should just always go into basic. It's it's easier for me to find it that way. Okay, go to advanced. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, so from here, this just needs to be rotated. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and five. Not on this side as well. Five, okay. And then for the center one here, this is um, going to be pole side centered. So I'll get that guy. I will put advanced. Oops, I literally just had it the way I wanted it. There we go. And so the zombie that's closest here will stack up. Um, any of the ones trying to push that zombie usually just fall off the edge here and into this little pit. So I can throw grenades, um, or the blade trap might hit them, etc. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some hatches here. Just gonna place them along the side here. Perfect. So that has taken shape. Now I'm gonna do the exact same on the other side. The whole purpose of this is on Horde Night, it's gonna be more flexible. So um, if it's just one person in the base on Horde Night, um, what I can do is on either side is open up one of these sets of hatches and that'll prevent zombies from actually pathing seeing this as a viable path to the base and they won't try to jump because of the five long uh, basically they're just going to go to the side where the hatches are actually closed and that way I can kind of control how many there are I mean if there's six people in this base these are going to be all closed. If you know that there's going to be six people always, you could just use these poles going all the way down and across and double them up. Although personally, I don't like doubling them up with this design um, as it kind of raises them up a little bit here and makes it a little uh, harder for headshots. So with that said, this side is pretty much done. So I'm going to finish up the other side. And then what I'll do is get in all the components that will be used, um, blade traps, uh, electric wires, turrets, etc. And then I'll show you how to wire those up. Cool. Okay, so we are back. It is time to put in place the, the rest of the base, basically. Um, so everything that uh, we have for traps, lights, turrets, etc., uh, our generator, We'll only need four engines to power everything that we have here. And of course, some good old gasoline. I mean, if you are using um, solar panels, uh, I do recommend placing those away from the base and then basically running relays into the base. Um, completely your decision. I'm just using gas uh, and a generator bank just because I find it's easier to find engines uh, early on and gas as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, one thing I did forget to do was actually put a weight into the base. So that would be handy. Um, so I'll do one, two, and three ladders. And then once this is closed, that way zombies, you know, we have to jump up to get in and zombies won't naturally kind of path here to try to get in. So this will keep some unwanted guests out of the base. Okay, and let's see, where's the ladder there? Good, good, good. Cool. Okay. So first off, oh yeah, you know what? I probably need a wire tool to actually wire everything up, so I'll go ahead and grab that as well. There we go. Okay. So, here we go here. Go ahead and place a generator. Three, four engines. I'll go ahead and refuel all the way. And we'll place down um, these electric fence posts on either side here. And actually, there's one more block I want to get for... I mean, you could use whatever block you, you want, really, but 
there's a pretty cool one <laughs> that looked nice. Yeah, this one here. Uh, cube one quarter centered square top. And I'm going to put that right in the middle here and right in the middle there. So my blade traps will actually rest right on top of those guys there. One and two. Oops. Other side. There we go. Okay. And this guy here might be a little tricky to get in place. Uh, but there we go. There's one, two. And I'll just go up onto the roof. Some relays. And we're going to place one and two. Turrets and spotlights. Okay, so. There we go there. And actually, the turrets, I, I don't put right on the edge. I actually put it one block back. And I'm using the SMG auto turret. Just because I find they do more damage with the range. The shotgun turrets are better for up close, I find. Um, okay, so I think everything's good there. Now we just need to wire everything up. And I'm actually just going to try not to fly around here. Just to make it easier. Um, I did forget to put the lights inside, but that's okay. I'll do that after. That's kind of an afterthought anyways. Okay. That's that guy there. Whoop. Uh, you know what? Screw it. That's why these guys up first anyways. Right here. Cool. And I'm actually not going to wire... Um, the electric fence posts from the blade trap because they will not I don't think they'll be electrified A and B if those guys get damaged or destroyed then the rest of the power going into the base well might not have any so and you there and from this guy here I will go up and wire it to the relay same on the other side. I will wrap wire from this guy. So the electric fence post is basically acting as a relay to the relay. So there we go there. And I will wire up all of these guys from that. Okay. Awesome. So those guys are all done. Uh, I will just put our indoor lights in here. I went with the industrial lights. Okay. And from that relay, I go one. And from here as well. Cool, so after this, it's pretty much just a matter of uh, turning on the generator and making sure that all the turrets are loaded. And one thing I'll show you right here as well. Um, now I said this is a six player base, which it is, and normally I like to put bed rolls down here on Horde Night. So one, two, three, four, five. And the sixth one, it, it like, there's room. There's definitely room. You could even potentially have um, a few more bed rolls down in here as well. But there we go. But it will definitely house six bed rolls down there for sure. Um, right, I forgot to turn on the generator. That would have been helpful. Cool. So we got our four generators. Everything's on. It's drawing 162 watts. Um, that's perfect. That's everything we need. And that gasoline will last all night. Just always make sure to close the hatch on Horde Night. Everything's all lit up and shiny. Beautiful. So, first I'll do the turrets. And 
Actually, I'm going to close these guys because I'm always going to just gonna be falling over them. Okay. So I want to make sure that I have it all loaded and locked. Always make sure to lock it. Click on the camera preview. Set it to about where you want it and then hit escape. Make sure to lock it. Click on the camera preview. I like to angle it down just to where they'll be running up the staircase. Escape. Boom. Just like that. Camo. Cool. So for these guys, I always forget you have to press and hold E and then go to aim. I just turned it off by accident, but let's just see here. So I'm just going to point it pretty much there as well. Gonna hit E on it again, press and hold E, go to aim, click on the camera preview, move it around, hit escape, but I'll just do the same on the other side. Beautiful. Cool. So, that's pretty much everything in place. There's just one added little thing I like to do as well. And that is to add, let's see, wall safes. Just in the top four corners of the base as well. I can stack, uh, or sorry, <laughs> stash uh, extra ammo, health kits, food, water, anything I need for Horde Knight. Um, you know, building materials, concrete specifically in this case, iron. And voila, that's, that's a done Horde base. So... The only thing left to do is to actually go ahead and show you here. Um, I don't want to actually destroy that entire thing. But, let's just see. Um, I won't have the parts either on me, probably. Nail gun. I'm just going to do this. And I actually don't remember what I need for that. So damage it, what do I need? Um, forged steel, okay. I thought it was like electrical components as well, but okay. I think that's actually, uh, I'm getting that confused with the, uh, what do you call it? With the electric fence post. Okay, so I'm just gonna damage those guys a little bit. And um, I'm gonna go up on in here. And I'll just show you from this position as well that Yes, you can absolutely uh, repair that blade trap from here. And luckily, uh, these electric fence posts, you can't zap yourself if you're too close as well. So, However, if you're a zombie on the other side, pretending I'm a zombie, I'm just going to continuously get zapped, and that'll freeze them in that position there. Cool. So, that is a done deal. The only thing left to do is to test it. And depending on the length of this video, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do that <laughs> in another video, actually, just to follow, just because this one's running so long. So, um, you know what, though? I really want to turn this off. Uh, yeah, let's just unlock the ammo on this side here, this side here. And I'm just going to spawn in some zombies really quick right now. And just show you what's going to happen on Horde Knight. Okay. So, since it's just me, I want to show you that they won't be pathing the bat side there. Um, let us do 25 of... Yeah, just Arlene. Sure. Oh. They're all in my head. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go inside. So these guys are getting zapped. Any of the other ones on the other side you can actually hear them getting diced up down there. They can't crawl through this.
Okay. I'm actually going to walk to this other side just to show you what will happen here. So if I just leave my body, I'll go ahead and take a look. I want to see if they're going to go a path that way. Okay, so she's attacking that. So she's going into rage mode. Most of them are still coming up this side here, though. Because, once again, all of these are open at the moment. So, by default, they're going to run up the side that has the closed hatches. You should be getting zapped, Wayne. You're getting zapped. Is there an issue with that? Oh, no. There's no issue. Okay. So we're close enough. There we go. Yeah, once again from here, you know, it's easy to get headshots. I think actually in the next video when I test this on Horde Knight, I'm gonna probably just make sure that it's uh, either day 77 or day 777. And yeah, I just really put this thing to the test. So, look out for that video next. Oh, there's still one kicking her head. Oh, you know what? Let's see if that's some good ones here. Oops. Eh. Nah, we'll do that on the next video. Forget it. Alright. Well, I hope you have enjoyed and learned something. Uh, well, if you use this, good luck on your Horde Nights, by all means. And uh, if you're inspired by this and have your own little innovations, uh, just as I did from watching another video, by all means, uh, feel free to share that in the comments if you, if you make it. So look forward to seeing and hearing your comments. Take care.